So I am a food technology graduate from the University of Santo Tomas. Once I graduated that, I became a research and development staff in a food company. So in, in that job, one of the few responsibilities I have is to create new products and push them in the market. My objective really in reskilling is that I wanted to switch careers and do something that I really enjoy and where I'm really good at. I got introduced to data analytics and how my interests are in this field. And basically, I've also learned from a lot of people who are in this space that the pay is good, the jobs are available, and there are a lot of vacancies in the market. So currently, I have several clients. I start my day slow and uh, get myself slowly into working where I just eat breakfast, do readings on what's new in the field because this industry, is, there is always something new every day. So I read a lot of stuff and around 9 a.m., 10 a.m., I start working with the projects that I have and that goes until 4 p.m., 5 p.m., but if there is something that I need to do, I can stop working because I'm a freelance data analyst and I have control of my time, basically. I enjoy this because I have freedom to do what I want at the same time when I want to do it. And the pay is really good. <laughs> So with regards to classical education and short courses, I believe that there is an advantage of taking short courses over having a college degree because the cost of these courses are only a fraction of what you would spend in getting a college degree. And the skills are there, the important skills are there to build yourself or get yourself into the industry that you want. And this, I believe, is also the view of Google, which is why they are, were releasing a lot of short courses. And they were actually looking more into skills rather than uh, papers and diplomas and all that stuff. So actually, this is an advantage of short courses, especially those which are self-paced. And that is, you can take this at your free time. You just basically have to make space for 30 minutes or one hour of your day to study these materials. And you are more knowledgeable in this space. You would be able to get job and roles as data analysts. And the good thing about short courses like this is that you can take them little by little and in a pace that you are more comfortable with. So if you are actually thinking that six or eight months is quite a long time, but if you compare it to getting a college degree or any other degrees, which takes you four years and eight to 12 hours a day, taking short courses would really look like it's one Netflix show. <laughs> And if you actually think about it, you have a lot of free time. It may be just that you're spending it on Facebook or in Netflix, YouTube, whatever. But if you put aside even an hour of time spent on those things, you would be able to progress at a much faster rate than you would ever believe in this course. So data analytics is really an interesting field where uh, I'm enjoying the work, I'm enjoying what uh, I'm doing. So basically, I enjoy digging deep into the numbers and extracting any insights and making a story out of it and sharing it to stakeholders who would be making decisions for companies and solving problems. And this is all possible because of data analysts and how impactful the, their roles is. So you are correct that there are a lot of 
free information in the internet on how to become data analysts, on how to use the tools that data analysts use. But uh, for me, as for my experience, they can become quite overwhelming and you would find yourself on what is the next thing to do and that can, for some, lead to analysis paralysis and eventually you're, you're stuck in that same place. But taking a structured course for data analytics really would be helpful because they have trimmed down all the unnecessary information and, and they set it up that you would be able to know and understand the basics, use these basic tools and eventually get a job, which a lot of people who are shifting into this space is really looking for. So when I first got even just a reply, I was just so excited. I was, I was walking, walking around my place and I just can't contain how excited I am. It was actually hard for me to sleep that night because I'm just really excited looking over and over even their replies and eventually after a few days they uh, sent me a contract and I felt like oh this is it this is uh, going to be something big and, and yeah that's the start of my journey as a data analyst. So once I graduate from uh, this data analytics course, I am looking at getting a full-time job, uh, maybe even target FANG companies, uh, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Spotify, and all those companies. And, and I'm even looking at developing myself to become a data scientist or a data engineer someday.